Camp Postcard is kind of a secret camp. A lot of these kids, it's the first time they've been at camp. I've never been horseback riding. This is all different for them. I'm scared. I think there's going to be a lot of surprises here. Close it! Oh. It's a little difficult dealing with 11, 12 year olds running around trying to wrangle them in. Oh. They just want to be kids. This is the undercover side of what we do. We get a whole bunch of kids from the neighborhoods that we work in, and we bring them up here for a week. That's how it works. The kids have no idea what we do and where we do it. That's beautiful. This whole week, we're their counselors. Griffin's ready! We're rooming with them, we're eating with them, doing everything with them. There's a lot of happy people, you know? In a week's time, you really develop a connection with some of these kids. Oh, I know, me too. Anybody who's worked with kids knows they teach you way more than you will ever teach them. Okay. It's important that every kid has opportunities I'm actually glad to be a part of the camp. We managed to put life lessons in everything that we do here. It's not what someone calls you, it's what you answer to, what you believe you are. It's a one in three lifetime experience. Camp Postcard! Sunday morning, the campers all arrive at a central location in Denver. Excited, like scared. Nervous. Big old smile for me. Excellent. I think for many people, this is the first time they're saying goodbye to their kiddo for a week. Yeah, mommy. I'm nervous. My wife, too. She want to cry, too. <laughs> so the parents wave goodbye, and that excitement travels onto the bus. Wow, it has a good look. They're singing songs. Are they it? Are they talking about what they think is going to happen at camp. Horseback riding, fishing. I want to do bow and arrow. And just having a good time riding on the bus. I've been camping, but not to camp. I think going to camp will be awesome. We get to explore nature. I've never been hiking. It's going to be fun. I have butterflies right now. Once you first get here, you don't want to be here. They get off the bus and their faces, they don't know what to expect. Andrea Rodriguez. They're a little apprehensive. Angelica. Some kids then all they want to do is go home. Charlotte McLean. Some of these kids have never been out of the city. They don't know what the mountains are. They've never been past city limits. Then I got my poncho. A lot of them are immigrants, first generation. If you guys have any problem with anything that you might need, just come to me, no matter what it is, OK? Some of them, English is not their first language. Some of these kids have seen life more than you would have ever thought is possible for that age. We're going to get this stuff sorted out, and then we're going to go have lunch. All right, you guys ready? Everyone has water. Everyone's good? Yep. All right, yep. let's go. All right, let's walk out. We don't know what they have going on at home, what difficulties they might be overcoming. Two lines, guys. Some of these kids say that they haven't eaten this well in their entire life. What do you guys think about the chicken so far? It's good. It's so good. At 10, 11, 12, that's when you really start becoming who you are. <laughs> it's an age where we see that they might be in the middle road and then they choose to go veer off completely. So this is a good opportunity for us to catch that. So we're here in beautiful Estes Park. Estes Park, Colorado. And we're with Volunteers of America. At the YMCA of the Rockies. We are at Camp Postcard. Camp Postcard! Who's got top bunk? I call top bunk. We have 71 inner city kids. All right, this is our room, guys. So cool! Between ages 11 and 13. I swear I asked my mom if we should bring our blankies. They come from some of the poverty-stricken areas. I feel like I've been on the top of the world for the very first time in my life. A lot of them have had, you know, trouble past. Your parents are relying on us to keep you safe. They don't have the resources. The family doesn't have the money to send them to a place like this. This is my first time ever playing this. Oh! Pull in two! Because it's expensive. This is a program that's fully funded by the Volunteers of America. They rock! The camp is 100% paid for, for the kids. So the odorant, shampoo, toothbrush, all the necessity, if they don't have it, then we'll uh, go ahead and supply them with it. Without having camp postcard, they would have not had the opportunity for a summer camp. Some people have never been on a horse before. 
So they're just trying something new that they haven't done before. The main goal and purpose of the camp. They're nice animals. Is to give kids an experience that they have never had. If you wanted to go right, pull the whole knot to the right. Give them an opportunity to get out in nature. Let them see, uh, you know, the trees and the woods. A lot of them have never hiked before. Break time! I mean, how can you beat this? Kind of smells like vanilla. It is just so cool up here. Mm. You don't have the school groups. You don't have the school cliques. Night hours! <laughs> Friendships can bloom as opposed to, you're different than me, I can't talk to you. Back when I came up, if you're different, you were singled out. And so when I watch this group of kids, the differences are embraced. And it's teaching the older generation to embrace it as well. All of us work together perfectly to make something. These are not, you know, by any means bad kids or anything like that. These are really great kids. A lot of talented kids. I mean, very smart kids. Shower, we gotta brush our teeth. We'll like mess around in here for a little bit until 10. No. Oh no! My head hurts because I'm lacking too much. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go to sleep. Good night, ladies! Camp Postcard, the acronym stands for Police Officers Striving to Create and Reinforce Dreams. Unbeknownst to them, their counselors are police officers from Aurora and Denver. Undercover police officers, as you can see. And we work alongside the kids, just like camp counselors. They do not know that we are officers and will not know until the night of graduation. Is anybody liking any of those ideas so far? It's hard to keep this under wraps for a whole week. We're going a different way back. We're a bunch of cops and, you know, we look and talk and act a little bit different. Some of the kids have asked us, what do you do? And that's a big question. What do you do? Hey, Dan, what do you do? I can't say, well, I'm a cop. I think they think I'm in the military or something. They think that I'm a, a school counselor. They asked me what school I work at. <laughs> we tell them that we're here to volunteer to help them get through this program. You remember, we have a, that big mountain to climb right there. It's basically this. We're trying to bridge that gap between police officers and the community, and this is one way to do it. The reason why we don't tell them right up front is we want them to build those relationships and to get to see the officers not only as counselors, but as people. You know, they don't know us. They don't understand that we're real people. They have a lot of distrust for the police. We are just a uniform with a badge. I'm not trying to get killed. I kind of get it. I'm used to them. Half of my family is afraid because of getting killed. A lot of them were kids that maybe have had interaction with police that maybe wasn't such a positive experience. They may see us having to take a mother or a father or a loved one out of the home. They're seeing a lot of different things on social media, on the news. Sometimes they're questioning if police officers really are good people. Because I'm a cop, I'm a racist. Or because I'm a cop, I'm heavy handed. I'm going to go beat people or I'm going to shoot people. It's just a lot of labels put on us. And if the kids are able to get to know us before that label can be attached to us, then when they find out who we are, they already know what we're like. They already know what our ethics are, they know what our morals are, and they know what we are in the core. They need to see that we are human, just like any other human beings on Earth. We come in all colors, sizes, from all different backgrounds. We don't want the uniform to be a barrier between us. It shows them that there's a person behind the band. You get right in my red wagon. I have Jeff. Deidre. Let's do this. Jordan. Oh, he dropped it. Kyle. I played it. Mike. Those kids wore me out. Galen. Avatar. Summer. Dan. There's one on the ground. <laughs> Laura. Hi. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Lisa. Dar. Jennifer. <laughs> Monica. All right, guys, you ready? PC. Yeah. And Miss Val. We're a wolf pack. They've been really good. They're awesome. Jeff always makes us laugh. They like to do a lot of activities with you. They've taught us life skills. They're really fun. They've been really nice. They care so much about us. And they actually like to listen to your ideas. The work that we put into this program is one of the hardest job I have ever done in my 23 year career in law enforcement. Oh God. Thursday makes it all worth it. I'm a little anxious, I'm a little excited. The 
police officers are secretly going and getting in their uniforms. <laughs> We've been hiding our uniforms in the truck. We're going to come in and surprise the kids and you know, let the cat out of the bag that we're all cops. They've been living and playing with police officers all week. They're in for a big surprise. A little nervous. Don't know how the kids are going to react. I don't think they have any idea. I feel like a little kid, you know? So we'll line up a little bit back there, and I'll always give the preparatory. We'll actually march in in formation behind the kids. Forward! March! Left, 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 right, left. Everybody could hear the footsteps and trying to look out, you know, what's going on, what's going on. It's the popo. <laughs> They're all policemen. That's their job. That's their job. Now what, what? You know, get up out of chair and... Oh my God, these counselors that we've been hanging out with, these are police officers. It was such a powerful moment. To see the kids' eyes lit up that all this time, they've been, you know, sharing a room with a police officer. Every eye was teary. It was a moving, emotional experience. We each got up and talked about each kid individually that we had in our small group. This is Jonathan. He's a little shy. <laughs> I have never seen this young lady not able, able to go into a room and find a friend. I saw him putting his arm around another camper who was struggling. Tamias has a heart of gold. He really does. And that's how he is, a true natural leader. She has an inner strength that shines through in her actions. During camp, he really came out of his shell. He was giving me that strength I needed while I was away from my family. We grew to trust each other and what we did. It was honor being your counselor. It was an honor getting to know each and every one of you. You're going to do great things in life, and I thank you for being one of my campers. Thank you for being an awesome camper. Thank you for being my camper. Thank you, man. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you. We made it, buddy. I'm sorry, if uh, I made it, I'm not out. I'm not out. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, very, it surprised me. I was in shock. I was like, we were sleeping with cops? I was kind of shocked. This has got to be fake. I thought they were actual police officers. Oh! <laughs> Now we're going to jail together. <laughs> but then I saw my counselor, so like I was like, oh, OK. I got it now. The reason I did this is I was one of these kids. Growing up, my dad was in trouble. We were afraid of the police because we didn't understand why you know, they were taking him away. And, and I saw that happen a lot. And I knew that they were doing a job. My dad made mistakes. To be on the flip side and be able to be in my shoes is an awesome experience. <laughs> I'm sort of like a little bit creeped out when I see police officers. The cops are out to get us, so we're trying to stay our best. And then we, they come in, we're thinking that they're like teachers or something. And out of nowhere, there's cops here all along trying to help us. You guys are surprised though? It still feels the same way. It's just that we know a bit more about him. It's too sweet of you to say that. Thank you. Like, it makes me less like afraid of them. Now it shows that like police officers are out there to help us. Under all the uniform, they're still the same person like us. I feel like they're close to my heart. You're a good kid. It's funny, okay. It wasn't just counselors. They were family. I know it was like five days or something, but it really means something. It makes me want to do what they do as a living too, just so I can give it to kids that don't have that experience and I can help them. I hope that when they are back home playing with other friends on the street be good hey. and they see a police officer, they remember back to camp and they say, they're people like us. Hi, Hi, coach. I had a lot of fun with a whole bunch of police officers when I was away at camp. Yeah, me, boy. Be yeah. good. When they leave on that bus and they give you a hug and they've got tears in their eyes and they genuinely are saying, you know, they're going to miss you, that's what it's all about. <laughs>